happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In Out of the Box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Dodderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us is the Prunus J112. This is an economical AM FM portable radio. You can find this selling on Amazon for around $19.99 at the moment. Uh, currently, they had a 30% off coupon, bringing the price way down to $13.99. So hopefully, if you watch this video, that coupon will still be active and you'll be able to get this radio at a decent price because it is totally worth it at 14 bucks, And it's worth it at 20 bucks as well, so we'll go over it. Uh, comes in a simple box. They're known for their red boxes with the big peach on it. Prunistech.com. Okay, it took everything out of the box. Show what we get. So in the box, we get the star of the show, the J112. Pretty cool, retro-styled. Uh, really growing on me. I really like the styling. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. So you get the radio. You also get a power adapter. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a 2 amp, I think 5 volts. I hope I can see that on the camera. But uh, there you go. Yeah, 5 volts, 2 amps output. Uh, that's to power it uh, with a USB cable. So it's got a uh, USB to type C connector. It's a really long cable. And you just power your radio by this or by AA batteries. Now, if you use the power brick and of course this power cord extend as far away from the outlet as possible use it for fm only or strong am locals any other faint stations on the am band will get a buzzing sound from this transformer these switching supplies are notorious for doing that if you can find a way to build your own linear supply of five volts uh, that you can plug in usb to it you can have a nice clean power source but uh they're mandated I think by U.S. law, they got to start doing switching supplies. So, yeah, to save energy. Uh, but, yeah, linear is what you want. But this works uh, for FM. And it can include it, which is great. Also, we get the manual. Prudis, all right. So, yeah, it's pretty simple. It's this clock radio, though there's no clock on there. Uh, that must be a misprint. Prudis, remove that word, clock. Just say retro radio. <laughs> yeah, nobody said clock on there. They got ahead of themselves, but that's okay. <laughs> Precautions, components, we're just going to flip through it for posterity. There you go, four AA batteries in the back. It's got this really cool metal handle. You rarely see metal in radio nowadays, which is pretty awesome. Well, there's some specifications there, some size, some weight. Uh, what it includes? Includes this manual, awesome. There you go. Uh, it does, yeah, when you plug in USB power, you don't have to take the batteries out. It automatically disables the battery compartment and uses the USB power. Nice. There's your four AA battery compartment. And uh, yeah, rock on. Will it work on rechargeables? Yes, it will work on rechargeable batteries. So if you're wondering, it's the way to run it. There you go, how to get better reception. Some more, again, very simple manual. There you go. FAQs, headphones, uh, headphone experience. Uh, yeah, you're going to like to hear that one. It's uh, interesting. But yeah, it has a headphone jack, which is fantastic for the price. And you got some QR codes on the back here. We got a US one. Canada, I think. And UK. You can also send messages to their link right there. prunus technic at hotmail.com. They got a phone number. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and check out the radio. Yeah. All right. So pretty simple thing. I like it. I like the simple aesthetics. Yeah, it looks really neat person so let's go ahead and go over dimensions um, to these ends here it's seven and a half inches in length the height without the handle is four and a half inches and with the handle fully extended it goes to six inches in height depth from front to back that includes the front of the tuning knob to the back of the antenna here that's two and a half inches all right we'll do a quick size comparison i always have my little Culprits over here. Now, I forgot to change my time back. It's actually currently 11.35 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA. Yeah, I just forgot to change them back. You know, we had an hour change. Yep. There's so many radios I got to change. I'm sure some of you guys have that problem. <laughs> but there you go. Weather alert radio. Yeah. There you go for size. Same with the sky wave. I got to change the clock on it as well. But here we go. AM, FM. Shortwave weather alert. Airband. 
portable radio. Pretty awesome little guy. I like this one. This is the Skywave 2, giving you an idea of portability. If you don't have those two radios, of course, I always bring in a deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Prunus radios made in China land. He's the master man of all things Prunus in the radio factory land. I don't know. I'm starting to get crazy. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> get the idea, right? Cool. All right. So there's that. Let's go over features of the J112. Yeah, or J112, however you want to say it. Um, right away, handles. Pretty cool. I like this metal. Hard plastic here. Everything's hard plastic surfaces with a matte finish. That folds back. Nice. Liking that. Nice strong hinged areas there. From the radio, uh, I'm estimating the speaker to be around two and a half inches approximately. I didn't take the radio apart to find out, but kind of have that idea. It's got a small little window uh, to let the speaker talk. <laughs> It's like this big, and it measures about two inches, but I think it extends out more than that. So at least two and a half, maybe even bigger, but I'm thinking two and a half. We have this really cool, nice rotary dial, um, it, which is backlit. So when we turn the radio on, you see it's got this blue light. Now in person, it's more white blue, but yeah, my camera's picking it up as blue. Yeah, more like that. Uh, really nice. I like that. Looks really good. Cool. Turn it off for a moment. But yeah, you can tune it uh, pretty simple here right in the front. Um, it's very accurate dial, by the way. Wherever you put it, uh, you're going to be accurate on FM and fairly accurate on AM. I noticed uh, it was pretty much in that territory of where I was searching. So, yeah, really nice to have an accurate dial as well. On an inexpensive radio, no-brainer. Uh, top of the radio, we have the model number band select switch, AM, FM. Of course, our on, off, and volume control, all in one thing. They keep it simple. That's what they got to do. Simple radios will sell the best. Back, we have our antenna, which pops out a little holder. It's recessed here, which is nice. And it swivels up 360, well, pretty much on the back side of the radio. And this fully extends out to 22 and a half inches. Very cool. So for right now, we'll just stow it until we get it turned on. All right. Battery compartment, pretty basic. We're going to go ahead and flip this open. It runs on four AA batteries. As you can see, there's their orientations. There you go. Silver sides is positive. Blue is negative. Here, you can see that. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, you can run nickel metal hydride in here, no problem. I don't see an issue with that. Seeing the radio can run at five volts. Yeah, because nominal nickel metal hydride is 4.8 with four cells. So there you go. And then on this side, we have the Type-C input. So you'll be using this to power your radio. Like I said, just use it for FM or strong AM locals, and you'll have no problems. This will work out great. You don't need batteries right away. So I thought that was neat they included the adapter, too. So um, rarely do you see that as well. But Type-C, people are excited about that, I'm sure. Um, no rechargeable batteries, and no, this will not charge the AA's. So don't doesn't do that. One upgrade I'd like to see, maybe, is maybe an 18650 bay. Have an option between switching between alkalines and maybe that 18650. That'd be kind of cool. Headphone listening experience. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, there's no FM stereo, but also there's no low-level hiss. So no hissing on the headphones, which is fantastic. Um, and overall experience is great. On FM, expect moderate lows, strong mids, moderate highs. A great, again, nice, pleasant, easy listening. AM band, expect a nice neutral tone. Good for talk and sports radio. Great overall experience on that. And, of course, the bottom, we have some nice feet with little rubber inserts and, of course, some information on the frequencies there. Cool. So we'll go over FM reception, and we'll go ahead and turn us on. I always go over quite a bit of the radio before I do some demos. Get some stuff on here still. All right. Um, so FM reception report. So I go through fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. And I tune the radio, and I count how many stations I can find uh, in my same spot, and I check for tropospheric ducting or e-skipping going on to make sure nothing that, that like that's happening to skew the results, and I do my test. So this one actually scored good on sensitivity, found 61 stations, which is a three-star rating, which is above average of an old-school analog radio, which I don't have on the bench at the moment, but in the old 80s, you know, early 90s radios. Um, they tend to be around 48 stations in my area. Uh, and that's an okay to good, which is an average rating. So above average, 
on sensitivity. Selectivity, I give it a okay to good rating, two and a half stars, right in the middle because selectivity on the FM band is difficult. You got a strong station, it'll jump to the next stronger station. It's harder to get that uh, faint station in between. So uh, I give it the kind of a middle of the road on selectivity. So overall, you're looking at probably a two and three quarter star rating. Not bad on FM. I'll tune a little bit of it so you get an idea of what it can do. So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and turn it on. We'll do an audio demo first. So I think it's right around there. The radio Totterbert. Go to FM, turn it on. And let's tune it to 97.7. There it is. I hear it. Okay, it's a little quiet. Let me see what's going on. Oh, there we go. Got my transmitter. So the line wasn't uh, high enough, so we turned this little line level. Get some transmit power. Awesome. So C Crane FM transmitter 2 is on 97.7 megahertz, hooked up to a iPod playing the music, and it's transmitting it over the airwaves to this radio. This radio is picking it up and playing the music, so I can audio demo this. So I'm going to move the transmitter out of the way, but I'll keep the iP little iPod, or not really iPod, MP3 player here. Sony, rock on. So you can see what's going on here. So you get it pretty quiet. 
Nice, I like that. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off, give you an idea. So hopefully, you compare it to my other videos, you'll get a general idea because I use the same setup, the same music. Um, people are like, how do you change the stations? Well, get yourself an FM transmitter and a MP3 player or your phone, and you can stream your music to any radio in the house. So that's the kind of cool thing. And you can pick this radio up and go wherever you want, uh, or if it's plugged in, awesome. So just cool setup. Uh, I like having an FM transmitter in the house. You can do a lot with it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do an FM band scan. So we'll go to the bottom of the band and we'll see what we can pick up. Um, so I'm gonna use a little 12 foot wire. If you guys have watched my videos, you know about this one. It came with my PL380 Texan radio and uh, simple wire, it goes right to the antenna mast and it gives me a little boost because I'm in a subfloor basement and it needs that uh, to get past. And this goes to my window sill and my inside the window blinds, it's not outside. So it just gets a little extra elevation and away from being underground. So I'll see if I got pretty good connection there. I don't think I did. Let's bring this out a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, we'll use this. Oh, I'm liking this handle too, by the way. I think I mentioned that to you. I can't believe that's metal. That's great. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hopefully that's gonna lay flat. All right, so we'll do an FM band scan. Turn it up. This dial is really cool. All right. Gotta go slow. To hold it together, our good friend Tony, prayer for double caregiving. In person, the speaker is absolutely amazing sounding. It's a little bright on AM, but FM, fantastic. Thanks. And Rose asking for prayers for her husband, Chris. He has been struggling to find a better job. A pleasure to have you on the program, and also lovely to hear from Sal. Yeah. In a while. Yeah. In the wilderness of my lament, in the lowland. Yeah. Not for me. All that Their needs can result in serious financial hardship. President William Ruto recently said that new legislation would promote universal health care and ensure that medical treatment is affordable. And Christmas, what? <laughs> Go the things you cling to to find back home. Sponsored by Abby. Chris Brockman here from the Rich Eisen Show. And do you want to take you home where we can be? Variety starts. 
starts now. Here we go. On 101.9 The Mix. Here, ever. Home for the holiday. Portions of the following program were pre recorded. Now, back to the new hit list. New hit list. On the radio, your smart speaker, streaming on the iHeartRadio app, and on all socials. Yeah. At the new hit list. 1035 Kiss FM, Chicago's number one hit music station. Earth, nor head. Powerful cold and flu relief. Dick. They deserve and the other fleet operators. And it does expect to produce more. He can't come out sad today. That means she's scared, right? I'll be put up. You baby like your do so don't leave her. Kid that he gonna choose her every time. Okay, you get the idea. Cool, I can't have run the music, but yeah, a lot of stations there. You saw I was barely tuning it. Um, yeah, I'm Chicago, Illinois, USA, and current time is 11.52 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time. So let's go ahead and pop that off. Put this antenna. Now with AM band, of course, you don't need the telescopic whip. It has an internal ferret antenna. Okay, and I'll be honest with you, during the day it was fantastic. I haven't done it in the evening yet to tune it, but uh, we're going to turn this down, go to the bottom of the band again, switch it to the AM. Right here on top, very nice controls. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can pick up in the evening. Now, and like I said, during the day, it's great on locals and good on semi-locals. So we'll see if it's the same in the evening or if we can catch some long-distance stations. Party is any threat. By the way, the, you know, people... The the, the biggest supporters of the Jewish community, long range, we used to call them HIMARS, but they're something like ATA CMS. So this is 540 WAUK Jackson, Wisconsin. I kind of passed it up, and that's why that one station was louder. That was 560, but this is 540 WAUK Jackson, Wisconsin, about 70 miles away, 400 watts at night. Just getting my little list out so we can uh, give you the wattages if I can look them up. Let them sit back farther in western Ukraine. Lobbed them into Crimea, lobbed them into the Black Sea. To his father is how uh, non Jewish people get that status, if you will. I don't know. I'm not saying it the right way. This is 560 WIND, Chicago, the answer. I appreciate the call, my friend. Speaking of this very issue, I want to remind you there are people on the ground right now helping the 200. Dude, I don't even, like, eat the same food you eat because you're morons. <laughs> and then you have a couple other buddies that don't... I think it's 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 52 miles to the north, 10,000 watts. To, uh, retirement. Bro, you need to put it in my, like, super fun, and I'm... Not. According to ABC News, Scott is trying to appeal to both the conservative base and minority voters. Despite 640 WMFN, Pito, Illinois. 75 miles away, 1,600 watts at night. ended racism, realizing a new possibility in one generation, was co-written by author Justin Michael Bruce. But if they get your bone dry in no time, they can even do the rebuild. ...to write the book after the death of George Floyd in 2020, and the social justice movement that followed. Matzo Matt for proof of lots of matzo pizza again. You know in life we put on... So I can't get Nashville, I'm trying. It's jumping between 640 and 670. This is 670, the score. W, uh, WCR Chicago, home of the Cubs. Add cheese or extra toppings to the frozen pizza they've chosen. Not with a brew. Along with John Marshall on your home for 24/7 News, the Black Information Network. 640 again. Your healthy minute. So we're losing selectivity here. Anyone who's ever seen a doctor. Snag one today at your local grocery store. So what we can do is we can always go to the trusty Skyway, and then we can enter in. Um, gotta get the AM band first. And use this as a frequency checker and see if we can pick up Nashville with it. Um, there we go. So we can pick it up with the Skyway. We just can't get it with this radio here. Maybe if I went back and forth a little bit, we'd be able to get it. And talk to your doctor. 
with even more breakthroughs these days. Lab tests are increasingly being used to diagnose illnesses long before painful symptoms develop, and is enabling the use of second lunches to pack. Okay, we'll just keep going. I can't get 650, so we'll keep zipping. Turning those three words in your life in just one day. How? The ovation tech. 720 to BGN Chicago. And Institute. How long have you suffered avoiding a fix because you thought it would be worse? We're scratch. So right in here should be 700. And I'm not sure if it's uh, available. Let's see. So that is 700 barely coming in. Um, so that's good. It can do net WLW Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. But it's not really coming in this evening. Okay, we'll keep tuning. Chevy dealers at ChevyDriveChicago.com. As you can tell, brighter audio definitely on the AM band. If that's a thing for you, you'll be happy with that. John will be chatting with Todd D. Decker, administrator for the Bishop Hill Heritage. Cool, that's 740 at Zoomer Radio, uh, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles to the northeast. Yeah, coming in nice, sounds good. Across the nation, the latest on that next from CBS News. Well, we went from 740 right to 780. I'm not going to try to go in between. <laughs> um, 780 is WBBM Chicago. To Purdue Fort Wayne. AccuWeather says overnight a low of 46 with chances of light rain. It's 12 midnight. This is CBS News on the hour, presented by. Never sounded. WHAS 840, Louisville, Kentucky, about 300 miles to the south, coast to coast on here. So that's cool. I can pick that up with this radio. There we go. Cool. Eight sixty CJBC Toronto Ontario. Nice. We're almost done. From ABC News. I'm Mark Remillard. A big night for Democrats as voters went to the polls in many states. So jump right to eight ninety local WLS Chicago. Approved a ballot measure to amend the state's constitution guaranteeing abortion access. Eight sixty. In the only southern state that has yet yeah, to pass one since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. So you get better selectivity with FM than you do on AM. AM, it just wants to latch on those stronger stations. Democratic showings, some upset victories, and a... 1-877-291-0123. That's one 291 Give a tax-deductible donation at relevantradio.com or by tapping the relevant radio app. Local 930, I believe, uh, WBKM. Catholic Radio. Show up for Jesus at the National Eucharistic Congress with ease. Thanks to the travel packages provided by the... Building a resume for the college football playoff. More on that in two minutes. Our local station, WMVP, Chicago, 1000. Elections, we had those Tuesday, win or lose. If your name was on a ballot, thank you for tossing your hat into the ring. NBA. Dose of news twice a day. Going far beyond the headlines. Tapping into the massive reporting resources of Fox News to provide a full picture of the news of the day. I'm Dana Perino. I'm Brett Baer. I'm Maria Bartiromo. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And this is the Fox News Rundown. Subscribe and listen now by going to foxnewspodcasts.com or wherever you get your podcasts. From the Fox News Podcasts Network. Hey, this is Trey Gowdy, host of the Trey Gowdy Podcast. Every Tuesday, you'll hear what's on my mind. Plus, 
Every Thursday, there's a special bonus episode where we answer the questions that are on your mind. Make sure to spend your Tuesdays and Thursdays with Trey. Subscribe now at foxnewspodcast.com or wherever you download sure where I'm podcast. At. Hope to see you. America's listening to Fox News. Special counsel probing Hunter Biden testified. Keep going. Try to look it up, but we're going to zip through the band at the top and call it. I give you my thoughts. real issues with my liver. And in my last checkup, my doc was concerned. And I can't wait to share that with you at the end of the program and a free gift that I have for you. But el camino a Wembley aún es más largo. On WCPT 820. This is a WCPT better admitted. Challenging the Trump's family businesses and another defendant convicted in the investigation details back in June. You're talking about a ballot team that lost four starters. Four, four starters. First half assaulting a cop. Top of the band. It should it should go without saying, but instead it's something that stands out. Is that in an era where after probably 1670 the zone? All right, cool. Well, you get an idea. It's pretty much good for locals, semi locals in the evening, and maybe some stronger stations distant if they're uh, broadcasting loud enough. If you hear them, <laughs> but uh, definitely cool radio. I'm enjoying it. There's the Prunus. Um, J one one two or 112, however you want to call it. Um, final thoughts on this one. Uh, it's perfect for the price. Thirteen ninety nine gets you quite a bit of radio here. I'm pretty happy with it. Holy cow, it's cool. <laughs> it really is fun. I like the lit dial. I like the handle. Um, I'm digging the light. It's lightweight. Um, it's got great overall reception. I mean, it does what I need. It's fantastic. This is easy. Fairly accurate on the dial. Um, what else can I say about it? Uh, I do like the fact they give you the power brick and that for FM. Not bad for FM listening. So there's that. And then the only thing I'd want on this is an 18650 battery bay, like I mentioned, and FM stereo on the headphones. It doesn't have that. Wish it did. Uh, but overall, uh, pretty impressed with this radio for the money. Go get you on. Links below. <laughs> uh, two of you like Prunus Radio. Subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of new reviews, of course. And three, comment below what you think about the 112. You think about picking one up? Do you like the retro dial? Do you like the sound? Do you like the handle? Using real metal here? Do you like the price? Do you like just the overall package? I think it's put together pretty well. Um, yeah, every fit and finish looks really good. If you're doing a good job picking out uh, nice radios to send our way. So there you go. The Prunus J112. All right, glad you watched this, guys. And we'll see you in my next video.